amendment of this kind going from this House to recognise the premise, supremacy of the House of Commons? Yes. My Lords, uh, my Lords, um, uh, my Lords, I think it's this side. Two quick points. Uh, first. I think my noble friend will find that, uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, my noble and learned friend has sat down. Um, there will be an opportunity for him to speak, uh, but I did indicate earlier that I thought we should hear from the Lord Kerr at this stage. I'm grateful to the noble lord. Uh, two quick points. First, by way of clarification on the issue of rev revocability raised by Lord Finkelstein. I'm very glad that he raised it. We discussed it extensively at second reading, and he told his readers in the Times that we didn't mention it at all. Uh, so <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm very glad that he's, he's here this time. Uh, when uh, Lord Panic, and I pay tribute to his skill both in court and here, when Lord Panic won his case in the High Court, not the Supreme Court, and the number 10 spokesman was asked about revocability. The spokesman